Good morning, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here on uh, 1231 2018, the very last day of 2018 of course, uh, about 4.20 a.m. West Coast time and uh, what better way to end the year with an earthquake swarm at Yellowstone National Park. I know the uh, USGS does not have a lot of earthquakes listed there for uh, the Yellowstone area on the Earthquake 3D globe, but I tell you why, it's been kicking off quite actively over the past couple hours there. And in fact, just right now as we're speaking, a uh, fairly uh, moderate spike occurring right there at Lake Yellowstone National Park. That's a seismograph station over here on the left. These are live readings coming from the seismograph stations themselves. Also, uh, this station down here below Lake Yellowstone where this spike occurred uh, is Madison 207, which is, or 2007, which is located northwest of, or west-northwest of the uh, Yellowstone, uh, Lake Yellowstone area. So that also picked up this little spike that just happened live on the seismographs here. Now, this has been occurring pretty much all night. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this little reading here real quick. Well, this here is actually an overview of Yellowstone National Park seismographs. These are thumbnails, right? Um, so you can kind of see the center. Uh, with this being an overlay, you can kind of see the center of area that we need to watch out here. They don't have Lake Yellowstone up here for some reason. Normally it's over here by Lake Butte, uh, Borehole region but that is missing for some reason but I am able to bring up the live seismographs to watch this uh, as it unfolds um, so right now I went ahead and pulled up a uh, the nearest station uh, close enough to where all the epicenter to where the epicenter of the earthquakes are taking place and that's going to be this station right here called borehole uh, now this is uh, pulled up here on my end hopefully you guys can see that that's a lot of earthquakes, folks. Folks, <laughs> a lot. Um, if I had to guesstimate, I would probably say right around 100 or so earthquakes within this little time frame, which looks like it kicked off. Um, well, what, what time we got there? Right around, I'm like, what, 0630. Uh, that's UTC time. But since then, uh, it's really kicked off, folks. And there's a lot of twos in there. Um, many many ones and many other smaller ones as well this is what we look for when we see uh, or this is what we see when we look for um, swarming type activity at Yellowstone National Park and it's uh, definitely swarming at the moment here um, it's been quite a while since we've seen any type of swarming uh, considerable swarming I should say so this will be interesting to watch and see if this continues um, throughout the day today I like to say on the live seismograph stations there, um, there is a one coming in that did get picked up on the uh, other station throughout the park. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it. I know a lot of folks uh, like to be updated on Yellowstone National Park, and that's uh, something I like to update uh, to the folks out there as well. It's always been a subject and topic of mine here on the channel since uh, well, 2007 or so. Uh, so we have seen some swarming activity over the years and a rather large one that occurred about two years ago there. It lasted for uh, a few months <laughs> and they, they uh, the geologists and seismologists claim it was uh, just under underground water movement or water migration um, which caused that uh, extended period of swarming year there at Yellowstone National Park a couple years ago kind of towards the end of the summer <clears throat> so we will watch it and see if this uh, is just some type of uh, you know maybe tectonic plate movements over there around the inner mountain west um, I don't believe it's going to be uh, underground water movement but uh, you never know um, but we will keep an eye on it and like I say uh you know, just looking at the overview there of the graphs is uh, quite impressive. Hundred, uh, at least a hundred earthquakes in there. Every single spike, every single 
big one and small one in there is indicative of an earthquake within that area. So yeah, probably about 100 earthquakes just on that little map that you're seeing right there. We'll see how this progresses throughout the day, folks. Um, have a good day out there. New Year's Eve, play it safe. Um, and uh, yeah, just be safe out there. Always be prepared. And we'll chat you guys a little bit later on. We'll keep you guys updated. Peace.